you're turning to a health alert. Sources say that you're a fat ass that needs to go running, and not just after the ice cream truck. All right then. So then, going running. Hmm. Let's go talk to Heather. Started training. That's actually when I started my blog as a training journal. I figured, well, if I put it out there, even if you know five people read it, I have to do it. But that was January 2010 was my first big race, my first half marathon, my goal race. It was definitely not what I expected. For those that live in Florida, they will remember it was very cold. It sleeted and there was ice. On the road, people were slipping, like the ice cups were, of mm. water, the cups of water were frozen. <laughs> Why didn't have warm clothes? All the stores were sold out because all these runners came into town and you know, there was like 40,000 runners and there's no pants, there's no jackets. And so I had to borrow from a friend and so I was like a hobo, I mean, <laughs> like a homeless person in these big baggy clothes. I think I may have had a trash bag too. <laughs> so I always say it's amazing that I actually wanted to run another one yeah. after that because it was such a crazy experience. <laughs> It was not an ideal first big race experience. <laughs> um, I ran I, the LA Marathon with ASICS in 2015. They uh, had a party in the Hollywood Hills in Marilyn Monroe's old house. I, it was so cool and like it was just like you see in the movies where it's literally on the side of a hill. There's a pool of course outside and you're, you know, you're, you're outside and you look out and you can see like Everything. down the mountain and you see all of LA down below. I'm just like, be a runner. yeah, I'm one of these. Yeah, <laughs> you're cool now. So that was a really cool experience. Too. Awesome. So yeah, I thought to do some really fun things. The race has started at 5.30 in the morning. I finished like 8.30. And then you went and you had a hot dog. <laughs> I did eat all the things. We usually <laughs> make dining reservations for like, like a buffet. Yeah, we usually eat pizza the day before. Ah, a carb load. Um, and then just like seriously whatever I want. That's awesome. After. I remember when I ran um, Dopey, which is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh -huh. and it's a 5K, 10K, a half, and a full. So it's 48.6 miles. You run four different times throughout the weekend, and that's one. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yes. No! No, no, uh-uh, no, not happening. So you get a medal for each race, and then you get a medal for doing all of them, and it's called the Dopey Challenge, because it's stupid. But yeah, <laughs> now I get it. And I was so hungry after the full, because I'd read all these races, and I was trying to eat pretty good, you know, pretty good leading up to this big race. And all I wanted was a hamburger <laughs> and french fries and a Coke, which I, I don't usually drink Coke. And a picture my husband took of me, like, just biting into the first bite of the hamburger, because I was... So, yeah, I've been running for several, several yeah. hours and over four days, and it's a good hamburger. He ran Dopey with me. We he did. did. He's run all. Did he want a burger too? He wanted like five burgers. <laughs> he doesn't really like running, right? But he does it for me. He knows Aww. it's he knows it's healthy, and he knows it's a good way to stay in shape. Mm -hmm. He just does it, but he definitely does not enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm going to outsmart you. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> and I cannot get him to dress up. I was gonna say, could you get him? Oh. I mean, we did the Star Wars race, and he wore a Star Wars shirt. That's about as good. Oh, I like him. Oh, he's obsessed with Star Wars. What? I'm gonna need your husband to dress up like Chewbacca. Somehow. He wants to. I'm gonna need it to okay. happen. So he said if he had access to a full Chewbacca costume, he would do it. I told him he's an idiot because it's really hot. And it's Florida. And he actually makes a really good Chewbacca noise. No, I'm joking. I should call him just gonna say, get him to do it. Call him back. <laughs> so I've done Belle, I've done Rapunzel, I've done Snow White. So my girlfriend and I have run Princess together for the past five years. Yeah. And we usually, last year we didn't, we just dressed as princesses, but we've done like costumes together. Mm -hmm. So one year we were the, um, the evil stepsisters, oh, Cinderella, right. and that was my absolute favorite race because we yelled at people the whole time. Yes! Oh, we yeah. ran through the course, and you know, there's like a million people dressed as Cinderella. So every time there was someone dressed as Cinderella, we would like yell at them and like tell them they couldn't go to the ball, and why aren't you scrubbing the floors? Yeah. And, and we would fight, we'd just like we'd push each other and yell and fight, and we were just obnoxious. We were just obnoxious for 13.1 miles. Oh, and then one year we were, um, Flounder and Sebastian. Oh, 
Oh, yes! I had a friend make me a tutu, and so it was white on one side, black on the other, and it had big felt, like, polka dots on it, mm -hmm. and a big red ribbon, and a headband with puppy dog spots on it. <laughs> it's a secret. I never tell people. I actually don't have an outfit for I know. When is it? February 22nd-ish. I'm, mm. I'm very last minute though. I think I was sewing Snow White last year, like the day before. While you were eating the pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Friggin' hater.